Hey everyone, what's going on? Welcome back to a new YouTube video. Today I wanted to take you guys back on a beautiful road trip that I just did actually uh, to see some beautiful fall colors here in California. I make this trip up to the Eastern Sierra pretty often here in California, especially during the fall. Um, it's a gorgeous place where the colors really do come alive. There's a lot of beautiful aspen trees there and I really love photographing the season changing and all the beautiful leaves. And for me, this is probably the best place that I know of to really see beautiful fall colors. So me, my girlfriend, and a few friends went up earlier last week, and I brought along two cameras with me, the X-T5 and the GFX 100S. Now this is my first trip really bringing along both of these cameras to kind of see how they work in tandem. I have an upcoming trip to Japan here actually in a couple days, and I think that these are the two cameras I'm gonna be bringing, and they worked really well in tandem actually. So the goal was to use the X-T5 with this really cool EFX20 flash, um, kind of just mounted on there permanently, uh, more as kind of like a digital point and shoot almost. I want to make a full video about this here in the future, uh, but long story short, this flash is incredible and it really does a great job at allowing me to shoot kind of a little bit more candidly, especially when the light and kind of the sun goes away. Using that flash works really, really well. And obviously we were going to be taking some pretty beautiful landscape photos, so I did want to bring along my GFX 100S, which is definitely my go-to favorite camera right now and it really delivered especially in Yosemite. I hadn't actually been to Yosemite in almost five years which is crazy because I feel like I'm around California pretty often and I road trip up and down the state fairly frequently uh, but I hadn't been to Yosemite in a long time so this was such a treat to be able to go and capture this on that beautiful medium format sensor. So the first area that we hit on this road trip was an area called June Lake, which is one of my favorites. Now this is really close to the town of Mammoth, which most people are pretty familiar with, uh, but there's some beautiful hiking trails around here. And there's also several lakes that have different viewpoints and different fall colors happening, different kinds of mountains, uh, lake reflections, all that kind of stuff. So we camped in this area for actually two nights, which was super beautiful. And we were able to hike around, swim, actually it was pretty warm, and we got some really cool photos just walking around and seeing all the beautiful fall colors. We also drove to the other side of the valley and shot some stuff around this lake called Mono Lake, which is also pretty popular. I really like this area because it's such a kind of stark contrast from the beautiful kind of fall colors of the mountainside of the valley. Over here it looks a little bit more desert-like. Uh, we had a really beautiful sunset here and I got some photos that I really love on the GFX. Now after that we packed up and headed over to Yosemite and there's this really kind of beautiful mountain pass that you can take called Tioga Pass that's only open for about half of the year because it's snowing so much up there. Uh, but we were lucky enough to actually have a beautifully sunny day and we were able to take this pass up and over into Yosemite. And that drive actually is one of my favorite drives to do. I don't get to do it very often, uh, but you basically go up to almost 11,000 feet and you're able to drive by all these really beautiful mountain lakes. So we stopped and kind of hung out around the lakes for several hours before we decided to keep going into Yosemite. And these lakes were beautiful, got some really cool stuff. Um, the light was shining really beautifully on the lake, so we took some photos, and I love how these ones turned out. <laughs> Now after that drive, we actually posted up in Yosemite for three days, which was super pretty. We only went to the park one of those days, but that was such a beautiful afternoon. We were able to ride bikes through the Yosemite Valley and kind of hang out along the riverbeds there. Yosemite is really cool because there's just so many different ways to see the park. And I personally love the valley. I think the valley floor is really beautiful and very underrated. Walking around there is super gorgeous and you can really kind of get a great sense for all the different kinds of fall colors there. I wouldn't say that the colors in Yosemite in particular were better than Mammoth, uh, but again, I hadn't been to Yosemite in a long time, so this was really fun for me to take photos of the valley and the light shining through the trees and all the different stuff happening. It was beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. 
I would say the highlight of the trip for me was the sunset that we did at this really cool location called Taft Point in Yosemite. Really beautiful view. It's a very quick hike from a parking lot and you get a pretty insane view of the valley floor. So we actually went out there for sunset, which was beautiful. And I was able to capture these really cool kind of light streaks in the valley. And these are some of my favorite photos from the whole trip. The light was just hitting that day and it was so pretty. It was this kind of smoky, hazy light and the sun was shining through. It was just kind of burnt orange color. It was so gorgeous. And the photos that I actually took that night on the GFX, I think are some of my favorite landscape photos I've taken in a while. These were beautiful and I kind of tried to use the natural silhouettes and shadows in the valley to really kind of emphasize the beautiful light streaking through. Now back to the cameras. The GFX is just such a wonderful camera for a trip like this because you're able to really get that beautiful high resolution image quality, especially when you're shooting landscape photos, is very helpful and I just love the way that it looks. You have this really rich depth and amazing colors to work with once you import them on your computer. And the GFX to me is just like my favorite camera. I, I really, I think it sees how I like to see stuff. And I think I can get kind of the photos in my mind out the easiest on a camera like that. But it was also really great bringing the X-T5 along. I shot it quite a bit. Again, more so it's kind of like a little point and shoot. So I brought it kind of around my shoulder pretty often everywhere I went. And it was a great companion for a trip like this. Obviously the X-T5 is no joke when it comes to quality as well. You get a beautiful 40 megapixel sensor in there. And honestly, the smaller sensor, I don't really notice it too much because the photos I'm trying to get from there are a little more like memory focused, I would say. And the GFX is a little more like professional focused. Now with that being said, this was just a beautiful trip with some friends and we were able to see some just gorgeous fall colors. These are some of my favorite photos I've taken in a minute, as I said, and I will leave a link down to the gallery if you guys want to take a look on my website. Now, before this video wraps up, I did want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Squarespace, for sponsoring today's episode. As you guys know by now, Squarespace is a longtime supporter of this YouTube channel and my creative endeavors. And to me, they just are the simplest way to really build and make a website. Whether you're a creative looking to sell an e-commerce product or even some sort of online course, make a beautiful gallery for all of your different kinds of photos, or even just have a simple contact page. They make it extremely easy to kind of lay out your website in a way that makes sense to you. And I can't recommend them enough to anyone who's looking to make a new website. If you guys want to check out Squarespace for yourself, there'll be a link down in the description to receive 10% off your first website or domain purchase. Thank you so much to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. And thanks to you guys for watching. See you soon.